When it comes to raising godly kids, one of the things we never want to underestimate is the power of a strong marriage. Uh, we live in a day and age where too often we have kid-centered marriages rather than kid-friendly marriages. And when you have a kid-centered marriage, what you actually do is you undercut the security of your children. Because one of the things kids want to know more than anything else is that they've got a rock-solid foundation. And their natural sin nature, their natural humanity, over and over is going to cause them to look for opportunities to divide and conquer. I mean, from the earliest age, when they have a choice to set, where do they set? They set right in between us. And what has happened in our culture is that so often we are so kid-centered that our marriage slowly drifts apart, and then we try to patch it up later. And we think we're giving the kids the best thing we could. Well, in reality, we'd be so much better off to give our kids along the way less in terms of finances, opportunities, and a lot of things that they'd really like if we model for them a great marriage. Because not only does that give them the security at, at a very important point, uh, point in their life, but on top of that, what it does is it models for them the most significant relationship they're going to have as an adult. Uh, you know, we tend to parent like we were parented, and we tend to naturally do marriage like the marriage we grew up watching, whether it was broken, it was dysfunctional, or it was just a fabulous marriage. So one of the things I want to encourage you to do, if you want to give your kids the best thing you can, is to give your spouse the best person you can. Because at the end of the day, that will give your kids what they need most, not only now, but throughout the rest of their life.